a note for all the competitors. If you are lucky enough to be crowned as an international queen, don't just be satisfied with being an international queen. You had better be the most memorable, iconic queen your country has ever seen. It is not enough to just grab an international crown or a national title to go to international competition. You had better be the most iconic queen that has ever represented your country ever. You're not competing only to get the Miss Universe crown. You're competing against every other woman who has ever represented your country ever in history. You want to be the best out of all of them. Hello everybody and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my court. If this is your first time in attendance, hello. Please consider hitting the subscribe button before you leave our kingdom. I am here with a brand new microphone. Gone are the days of the messed up road that gives us feedback. I finally have this brand new microphone and I'm super happy to, ha to have it, even though it did make me go out of the way to go pick it up myself because online shipping sucks. It's fine, we're working with new sound here and hopefully we will no longer get any more feedback. Some of you saw my comment in the last video that I was gonna set that microphone on fire and absolutely I am. We're gonna have a good old barbecue over that old mic because trust me, none of you want that. So we are all here excitedly gearing up for a brand new edition of Miss Universe coming to us in December of 2021. And the first woman we are talking about is Miss Universe Venezuela, Luiset Materan. Fun fact about Luisette, she's not necessarily a pageant newbie. She won Miss Venezuela Globe back in 2015 and was supposed to represent Venezuela at international competition in Istanbul, Turkey. But at the time there were terrorist attacks happening in Istanbul and she was not permitted to represent her country. Now this is all according to her Wikipedia page because I was trying to find the playback of Miss Globe to verify, but I'm pretty sure this is easily verifiable. Either way, I thought it was pretty interesting seeing as we are having uh, the Miss Universe competition in Israel, which, you know, might make that poor girl a little bit nervous um, seeing as the history that she's had with these controversial nations. Let's all hope that this works out in her favor and she's actually able to represent her country this time and it's not spoiled by Miss Universe decision nonsense. So Louis Seth, as a competitor, I watched obviously her full competition run through. She is a magnificent competitor. She's Venezuelan. The Venezuelans are impeccably trained, but this does bring up a subject that I think is long overdue discussing when it comes to Venezuelan competitors, because as I have said in previous videos, the Venezuelans and South Americans in general are like engineers when it comes to their performance quality. Their precision and attention to detail is damn near robotic in its perfection. And Luiseth is one of those women that greatly displays what Venezuela is known for. This girl, every hair, every fiber, every toe, every wrist, every fingernail is perfectly in place. Her pacing is impeccable. Her turns are smooth. Like performance wise, technique wise, she's flawless. I mean, this performance would be perfect for Trump era. For a Trump era performance, it would be perfect. But in this new IMG era, this performance is not going to be good enough. And I know some of them, some people are in the comment section. They're like, what do you mean? What do you mean? How are you gonna say her technique and she's so wonderful, but it's not good enough. Look, first of all, first of all, okay. If your goal is to be good enough, if your goal is to just be good enough to be a finalist, then I mean, by all means do that, okay? But we're not aiming for good enough. We're not aiming for fifth place. I'm assuming that Louis Seth wants to be Miss Universe. And in the context of an IMG performance going into international competition against the countries that we know are going to bring very dynamic performances, this is not going to be good enough, at least not good enough to win. Now mark my words, this performance is good enough to be a finalist. Absolutely, she will make finals with a performance like this. And if that's all you're aiming for is fifth place, then by all means, sis, you're great. But I just, like I said, I don't think that's what she's aiming for. This is something that I have been getting from Venezuelans for the last several years. And I think that this is the reason that they've kind of been backsliding as a nation competitively within pageants. Um, in the Trump era, it's undisputable, undeniable that the Venezuelans were 
reigning supreme. The, Vene the Venezuelans were like that number one country. The, the Venezuelans were where the Philippines is today. Like they were that country. But once IMG took over, we've kind of seen them slipping in their placement, slipping um, in the country breakdown and rankings of who we think are doing the best. And the reason that that is, in my opinion, is that the Venezuelans, number one, have become complacent. And number two, they do not have that drive to innovate. Within these last few years, we have seen a lot of countries come up in the rankings and their placements because they have been very innovative and creative with not only the type of women that they are choosing, but the type of performances that these women are giving on stage. These women are not just giving technically proficient performances, they're giving very individualistic type of performances, performances that are specific to their own personality and showcase who they are as a woman. We're getting iconic performances that truly wow and entice an audience. And though the Venezuelans are technically perfect, they're so perfect that it almost seems inauthentic. It seems fake. Like it's very much giving me Stepford Wives. You guys have seen that movie, right? The Stepford Housewives, the Stepford Wives. It's basically about a society or like a community of men who seemingly have the perfect wife and they're pristine and they're perfect and they're polished and they're beautiful. And it's so perfect that it's eerie and weird. And it turns out at the end of the movie, it's because of those, those wives are kind of like hypnotic, hypnotized part robot women. Like they're not real. That's why the Stepford Wives, I'm bringing up that comparison because the Venezuelans have been putting on such technically proficient performances. They're so manicured that it comes off as inauthentic, unreal, plastic, and no one truly wants a plastic Barbie Miss Universe. We want a real woman. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. When you meet that woman who says all these nice things to your face and she comes off as like too nice and she's just like, oh my gosh, yes, I totally like you. And she's definitely giving you the Regina George treatment where she's saying nice things to your face. Meanwhile, she's trashing you behind your back. That is what this is giving me. It's giving me I'm going to give you a performance that you want, not a performance that's true to who I am. And in an era where IMG is consistently choosing female judges and not giving space to even one man, women specifically are going to pick up on that kind of like facade. Women can truly tell when another woman is putting on a show and we don't like it. Not to say that this woman's not a fantastic woman, I'm sure that she is, but we wanna see who she truly is, not how wonderful her training is, not how fantastic her coach is. Because when I see this performance, all I'm seeing is whoever her coach is, is impeccable. Whoever her coach is, done trained her for the gods. But none of her true personality is really shining through. None of this is giving me that she's living in the moment and she's really having fun on stage. It's giving me a perfect, tailored, robotic, cold performance. Like, this is the performance I would expect Siri to give if she could physically perform on stage. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, yes, 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 yes. I am, I'm being nitpicky, okay? I get it. Because I know that we would all be blessed if the European nations could consistently deliver performances at this technical level. Like, yes, there are some countries that we would be oh so grateful if they could get on this level, absolutely. But for Venezuela, if they truly want to win, which I've heard this is one of the most excited women to go to Miss Universe thus far. Like I heard this woman is super excited. So for a country, country such as Venezuela, who truly does want to capture a Miss Universe crown, this will not be enough. Venezuela has got to get out of the habit of delivering Trump era performances. We are out of the time of wanting a pristine, polished, perfect, like, airbrushed version of a woman. The performances that have gone on to be iconic, to be memorable, to win, are those individual performances that showcase who a woman is, her quirks, her silliness, her flirtatious behavior, her strengths. When somebody mimics Catriona Gray's performance or even Pia's performance, we are able to identify that said performance because those performances are specific to one queen that we know so well because those performances were part of who they were, a part of their personality. Their performances were not 
manufactured. And for the last couple years, the feeling that I get from the Venezuelan competitors is a feeling that their performances are manufactured. And I understand that every queen goes through training. Every queen worth a grain of salt is having some sort of training, coaching, everybody's getting training. But when, when they step on stage, we shouldn't necessarily see your training. Think of a performance as a ballet dance. When you see a ballerina on stage, there is no denying that this woman has gone through years, possibly decades of hardcore hours worth of training. But when you see a ballerina on stage, it doesn't feel that way. It feels full of life. It feels spontaneous. It feels like she's living in the moment. You cannot necessarily see what's coming next. You can see her emotions, her happiness, her feelings. You can see the artistic expression and every little performance that that one dancer gives it's gonna be different day to day. She's going to move a little bit different. The jumps may be a bit higher, a different direction. She's truly living in that moment. A performance on a pageant stage should still have that feeling. I don't want to see your impeccably trained teaching that your coach has walked you through every single day for the last six months. I want to see you take that training and make it your own and become one with it and live in the moment. I wanna see, you know, a flash of a crooked smile and a sparkle in the eye and a little bit of a flare and a turn and a, you know, a little bit of creasing around the eyes that she, her true joy comes through. We should see that life. That's what I'm saying. The countries that we've seen rise up and persist into consistent top level rankings are countries that are allowing their women to thoroughly express who they are. Yes, they're definitely trained, but these women do not present the same cookie cutter manufactured performance. Each little performance is different. Each turn is different. Their smiles are different. And everything about these women and their performances are catered to who they are. If we have a sultry competitor, we will see a sultry performance. If we have a very whimsical, happy girl, we'll see a very whimsical, happy performance. We need to see that diversity and personality come through in a performance. And hopefully we can get that from Venezuela going into the Miss Universe competition because that's the only way I can see them grabbing a crown. That is the only way in an IMG era you are going to grab a crown, like I said, especially when the judges are largely women. Indonesia has been doing it, Philippines has been doing it, Jamaica has been doing it, South Africa has been doing it. We have got these very flavorful women who bring a lot to stage. And if Venezuela wants to compete with the rest of the powerhouses and retain their spot as a powerhouse and hopefully put up some sort of fight against the Asian nations, because come on now, come on now, this is getting ridiculous. Let's admit this, the Asian nations are just, they're doing a bit much, stealing all the crowns and we need a little bit of South American power. Colombia, I need to see you in my office because I, I definitely need to talk about them too. But Venezuela can do it. And this woman is so excited to be a part of Miss Universe that I thoroughly believe that she's going to find a way to shake up the top five, top 10 list. And I hope that she does because quite honestly, like I said, technically she's perfect. Did you see her performance? Like, okay, yeah, we can get into the performance. The performance was glorious, glorious. Like nothing was out of place. This girl coaching outstanding. I just, I need to see her personality. I want to see her laugh for God's sake, change the face because the swimsuit, I was watching the swimsuit performance, Stepford wife face the whole time. It was, it was stone cold, robotic, plastered smile. Total, girl. Loosen up, laugh, giggle, flirt, like give me the emotions, give me the dynamic performance. She, she, man, her training is so good. The only thing she needs is to just kind of let out who she is and she'll do great. Cause I watched her speak and she has the ability to speak with passion and authority. So I just, this is the makings of a contender for top five, as long as she brings her personality out of the freezer. I wanna know who you truly are, girl. And say, go, Venezuelan coaches, like let the girls loosen up, you know, be a little bit original with their performances. Do something a little bit different. Don't give me a cookie cutter performance. Venezuela's better than this. Let's not be a B student, all right? Cause yes, everybody's gonna like, but sh She's wonderful, she's amazing. Yes, she is amazing, she's wonderful. She's definitely gonna get fifth place, but I don't think that that's what she wants. I think she wants to win. And in order to win, you can't be complacent. You can't say this is good enough. You have to be the best you can possibly be. Here's a note for all the competitors. If you are lucky enough to be crowned as an international queen, 
Don't just be satisfied with being an international queen. You had better be the most memorable, iconic queen your country has ever seen. It is not enough to just grab an international crown or a national title to go to international competition. You had better be the most iconic queen that has ever represented your country ever. You're not competing only to get the Miss Universe crown. You're competing against every other woman who has ever represented your country ever in history. You want to be the best out of all of them. So yes, Louis Seth, I'm calling you out, girl. There are some Venezuelan queens that I love, okay? Namely this queen and this queen. And you know what? I want you to be better than both of them. I want you to be better than both of them. Your competition is not just the Miss Universe crown and organization. Your competition is these women. Be better than these women and you will do so amazing. And competition. All right, in the comment section below, let me know what you think about the newly crowned Miss Universe Venezuela. What do you think she needs to work on to nab the title? Like she's beautiful, she's trained. Yes, I'm being nitpicky because girl, I want the best for you. And quite honestly, the only way to win a Miss Universe competition is to be nitpicky. That's the only way to get above the Indonesians, to get above the Philippines, to take out Thailand. That, that's the only way we're gonna be able to do this. But I have all the faith in the world for Venezuela. I mean, for God's sakes, whoever training this woman is amazing but in the comment section below let me know what you think of this competitor is she one of your favorites do you think she's cooking up something special for us from this universe i hope so oh my gosh i can't wait to see the rest of the girls make sure you give the video a thumbs up and like i said if this is your first time attending court here with us, welcome. There will be plenty of Miss Universe and other pageant content to come. So hopefully I get to see your lovely face again. I love you. I'll miss you. And you know, I will be back in a future video. Bye.